Welcome back to Pet Pals. Now we've got uh, some cats that we're going to take a look at that are looking for forever homes. And this week we're focusing on our adult cats. We are in the middle of kitten season. We have kittens on our adoption floor looking for homes, but we wanted to showcase some of our adult cats that are just as deserving, and some of them have been here for quite a while. Um, first up is Cooper. Cooper is female. She's about four to five years old. What we try to do on today's Pet Pals also is kind of get a mix of cat colors. So she is a brown tabby with white, and you can just tell that the brown tabby, um, brown coloring tabby is actually the pattern. So she's got some stripes uh, in that fur, and then she's got the white on her face. Uh, she is on the larger side. She is overweight at 11 pounds, 6.5 ounces. So Similar to dogs, the best way to reduce weight on a cat, uh, first of all, is you want to have a discussion with your veterinarian. You want to make sure, um, you know, if your vet recommends blood work, that might rule out uh, any health issues or diseases that could be creating um, the metabolism factor. Or um, once you've talked to your vet, another way to reduce uh, weight on a cat is just to measure food. So often people think that uh, cats can just free feed, that you can offer them a bowl of food, keep refilling it, and they will just graze through the day. And that's true. If you offer free feeding, they will learn to graze through the day. And then if you get to the vet and they ask how much your cat is eating, you're not going to be able to tell them. So measuring food is another way to kind of um, get a starting point of how much you're feeding and talk to your vet about how much you should reduce their, their food. But um, Cooper has a great personality. We've tested her negative for feline leukemia, feline immunodeficiency virus. Those are two viruses that cats can transmit cat to cat. And we do test all of our cats for those things. And Cooper, um, this is her third time at the shelter. She came in and was adopted for a short while and returned because those folks were moving. And then she was adopted about eight or nine months ago again and uh, her second family from us was moving and, and also could not keep her. So that's something definitely to consider. If, you, if you're incorporating a, a pet into your life and you might expect some life changes, um, consider how fair that is to, to keep an animal for, short, for a short while and then return them to the shelter. But Cooper's here now and we are looking uh, forward to adopting her out permanently.